Okay, this here will be my review for June 2nd. Got a lot of them to go through here. First up here is MRK, Merck. Uh, Merck put in a wide ranging bar here and decision didn't really know what it was gonna do. Wait and, waited until it came down to my support level. Uh, did take this green over green entry here. Um, just wanna see as close as possible to it and stop me out for a small loss. Nothing really huge there. Next up here is JPM, JP Morgan. Uh, JP Morgan gap down below my levels here. Um, almost tricked me into a trade right there, but I didn't like the uh, risk to reward here from this level. My stop would have had to have been way down here, so didn't want my initial stop to be that far away. No trade was uh, triggered there. Next up here is GT. This was a uh, Goodyear tire and rubber. Opened up high, sold off straight back through uh, the level I was watching there and just took it off my watch list from there. ConAgra, CAG, did trigger me into a trade and got out just before this huge sell-off. I'm not exactly sure what happened there, uh, all I do know is that that was a massive sell-off that I did not want anything to do with. Next up here, uh, Best Buy. wasn't necessarily a hammer trade, um, just something I was looking for. Uh, continuation off of this gap up here shows pretty decent amount of strength here, implying that it is going to at least touch all-time highs or at least test it. Uh, however, gap down, sold off, and did not take a trade uh, once it broke below this range right here. Could have potentially looked for a false breakdown setup, but uh, it wasn't it was something I was focusing on today. Next up here are some of the other trades that actually worked out fairly well. Um, Bank of America ended up taking two trades in this one. The first one was after this first five minute hammer here, triggered me just above and trailed out almost immediately. Came back down, tested the low, gave another green over green break, implied it was gonna hold this bottom. So went ahead, took a position. Uh, stop loss pretty much went to break even almost immediately. So I uh, didn't have anything at risk there, just let it run up until it, it ran into something that looked like it was gonna be resistance, which ultimately ended up being the level I was watching in the first place. So. Decent trade there. Next up here is CIT, Citigroup. Uh, this one was another one that gapped down. This candle was far too tall for me to trade versus, so I uh, waited for a little bit of a pullback. Kind of a three candle flag pattern, um, a little deep in the pullback, but uh, did take a trade above and stop loss just below. It triggered me out once it fell back below the range I was watching initially. Intel is another trade here. Uh, this one actually gapped up higher and sold off almost immediately, came down. Waited for a green over green break until it's one that I've been tracking for quite a while now. And we'll likely keep it on my watch list for a, for a while. Uh, triggered me in right here and came up. Once it failed to hold above the highs and above this peak right here was my signal to go ahead and get out. And today it's just an indecision day for Intel. Next up here is KRE, Regional Banking ETF. <clears throat> this one uh, also put in somewhat of a long range bar here off the uh, opening gap down. Completely blew out of this uh, broadening wedge I was watching. Uh, but did take a trade here after a green over green break and took me out once it failed to go back above the level I was watching there. Next up here, MA MasterCard. Uh, this one ended up being a tremendous trade here. Didn't take a gap and go entry. It's a very, uh, very spready stock as far as the bid ask spread. So I just wanted to see some sort of a pattern set up here. Got in on a break above this consolidation area and rode it up all the way up to almost the highs. Um, left a little bit on the table. I could have closed it out for a full dollar gain, but uh, overall, it ended up being a nice trade here. Next up here is MO. This was Altria, the tobacco company. Came down, it opened up, it sold off immediately. Uh, nothing to do on the open, waited for it to come all the way back down to where I was looking for a support entry. Uh, got in once it broke above a slight base right here and rode it up to just about 75. So not a huge gain there, maybe about 5 cents. Next up here was OHI. OHI was something I wasn't too interested in, but I saw a bounce off of a base here at this level I was watching here. Got in and got out for virtually nothing so um, nothing really major there happening next up here was PEP Pepsi uh, this one ended up being a fairly decent trade as well <coughs> excuse me uh, gapped up put in a red hammer candle there on the open and uh, did go until it ultimately failed and came right came back right below so I got out just before, before I got to break even and uh, knocked in some profit so nothing really major there Next up here is uh, PG, Procter & Gamble. Uh, opened up, tried to go higher, didn't take a trade up here, waited for it to pull back and set up something to cause support. Got in on the first green over green break and just kind of rode it up. Once it failed at a VWAP here, I got out on a red break below red for a small penny gain. Next up here is ZTS, Zoetis. Uh, Zoetis opened up high, took a gap and go entry, worked out very, very well. And uh, once it started to hit, an, hit some sellers, got a significant amount of volume up here, it was time to close the trade. So. That's what happened there. Overall, I had uh, 10 winners and I believe two losers today.